Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to my channel. Today I just have a quick share for you guys. I am in a swap over on a Facebook group called um, Craft Swapping Sisterhood, I think it is. Hold on one second. I'm going to tell you for sure. But I'm going to share with you what I created. We're doing a, it's craft swapping sisterhood. Yes, I was right. I'm going to share with you what we're doing. Whoops. Let's turn that glare away there. Okay. Okay. So we had to make a loaded envelope and then we also had to, um, put in a goodie. So I made, um, a loaded envelope and then I also made something to stick with it, to share with it too. And then I'm going to share it all with you. So this is my envelope. I love it. This paper collection is so pretty. It's Prima. Let's see. It's called Pumpkin and Spice. It has this really pretty like pastel -y, pinky peach and then it has lots of mint in it which I really love so and fall is something I also I really love but a fall kit that has pink in it that's just my dream so when I saw this I knew I wanted to make something with it I just didn't know what and then the swap came out and I was like yep I know what I'm gonna make now so I'm gonna pull everything out of here and then I'll show you the envelope um and then I'll show you the things that I made okay so we'll just pull it all out quick there we go so this is the envelope which is actually not really an envelope it is a brown paper bag that I cut down and folded and turned into a loaded pocket. So it has one, two, and three. And then this middle pocket here is expandable. So it could get, so I could get lots of stuff into it. And then I have a Prima leaf up here, some tiny little flowers. And then I put a pink doily and some white, a white doily and some pink doilies around just to kind of bring in the pink. And cause I wanted to put a little extra up there. So th this is my pocket. I'm going to show you all the things that I put in it so that you can see them. Let's start with this. We had to make, I can't remember how many we had to make because I know that I made a few more than we were supposed to, but we had to make note cards and embellishments. And so I made these super cute embellishments. It's just a um, crepe paper and then I wrinkled it or, um, ruffled it. Oh, that did not stay stuck. Darn it. And then I put some gold thread on there and then I glued a word to it and it's a cute little embellishment for a card. And then I put it in this little pocket. I love this bow here. And then put it in this little packaging. I'm not real fond of this acetate. It doesn't really go with it, but I wanted to use acetate and I had this one on hand. So I just used it. It does. It doesn't ruin it. It just. It's a little busy for my taste. But I got to use it up, so I figured I would use it in here. So that goes in the back there. And then I created this. This is a tiny little box. I love it. It just has a little belly band on it. I couldn't get too decorative on the front because I didn't want it. I wanted to fit in the envelope. And then all it is is just a bunch of teeny tiny handmade flowers that I made from the collection. And then I also included some just little tiny cut flowers. And so that's what's in that box. And put that away. And then that tucks back in there. And then in here, I made a note card kit. So we were supposed to make note cards, which I did. They're in here too. 
but I also created a little kit where I put some papers from the collection in here. I put some note cards in here. And then I put a few extra things, like I put a piece of gold paper, I put a piece of pink vellum, and then I put some twine or some embroidery thread, some of the chipboard stickers from the collection, and then some of the embellishments from the sticker from the collection as well, so that the, my recipient, my, my swap partner, could make her own note cards with this if she wanted to. I don't remember where that one was, but we'll put it there for now. And then we're going to get to the embellishments that I created. So I started off with some bows because I always, always make bows. I made these super cute bows, which don't show up very well in this bag, but I love this bag, so I had to share it. And then I also did some black gingham typos. This was a paper in the collection as well. I just made four different types of bows. I think they're all different. Yep, they're all different but they're all little and tiny and I thought they were cute. So I made those. And then I created four little um, rosettes. I used my Tim Holtz rosette die and then I just put chipboard and em the embellishments from the collection on it. And some of them have some of the gold twine and then I decorated the bag as well. Then I created, I love making these now. They're so much fun. I make so many when I make them. As a matter of fact, when I made these, I couldn't stop myself. So I made some more. These are little, um, they're just little wax seals. Um, with these ones, to make them more of an embellishment, I put some gold twine or gold thread underneath them and then poured the hot wax onto them and melted them and then I put them all onto a popped up sticker so that they could be a little embellishment and then I included some non embellished ones so that they can just put these on to whatever they want and I used sort of fall colors and autumn colors to create those okay oh yeah we had to make um, note cards and tags so these are my note cards. I made them all very similar. There is a piece of pattern. They're all on, um, this is heavyweight. This is 110 pound craft card stock. They're all on that. And then they all have a piece of pattern paper, a prima leaf, and then, um, some gold thread and then some sort of, uh, sentiment. So I made that one. I made this one. And this one, we had to have a three set and then I created some envelopes to go with it. And then I just stuck those into this iridescent bag. I haven't sealed it down yet because I hadn't decided how I was going to seal it down. So it's just stuck in there for now. And then we created, we had to do some tags. So I did these tags. <sighs> I just used, um, this is from the six by six, um, cut apart paper. I just used some of the embellishments off of those and then stuck this really cool, um, eyelash trim on them. I think this, this is from Hobby Lobby. It's got this really pretty like apricot color and gold on it. So I liked that a lot. And then this one just has brown baker swine, but it has some um, this one, you can stick something in between the two if you want to. And then on this one, I just put a leaf and a little bit of, um, a doily and then stuck the leaf on there. On this one, I put a pocket and stuck a tiny tag in there. Tags are not really my thing. They're kind of, I struggle with them. I don't know how to decorate them. So these were a little bit harder for me. But I'm happy with how they turned out, so hopefully my partner will like them. I always have a bit of an issue with when I have to do tags. I never know, you know, how much is too much to decorate them, how much is too little. But I did my best, and that's all we can ask for, right? So I created that, and then I created this. I actually created this first um, before I was going to do the swap. 
this is what I was playing with the paper pad, but then once I did the swap, I knew I was going to include this. So this is an envelope tag flip book, and I just put little things inside of it. So in this first one, I made two little rosettes, just blank rosettes that, that my recipient can decorate, and then decorated the envelope. And then I put a little... So I got these super cute llamas, which are intended to hold embroidery thread. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They were so cute, and I believe that they were clearanced. I'm not 100%, but I think they were. But I poked a hole in the eye, and then I put it on the ring because I thought it was adorable. So I put that on there. And then on this one, I just decorated the envelope. And then here is a little bag of some little embellishments. And then in here is a little bag. This is um, the cut aparts already cut apart um, from the six by six paper pad to use on cards or tags or whatever they may want to make. And again, I decorated this um, envelope. So the point is, is that when they're done, when they pull out all the goodies that are in here, they can use this envelope flip tag to make another flip tag for another recipient. Then I put some sequins in here, gold sequins. These are from the Dollar Tree. I just took all of the gold ones and mixed them together and made a gold sequin mix. Then in here, I just stuck some extra chipboard um, stickers in here. And then there's the last envelope. So I have that. And then lastly is the goodie. So I included a sheet of stickers which don't really go with the collection but everyone can use stickers so I thought I would I picked those up from Walmart and then I also included there was no uh, it just said we had to include one goodie but since I got mine from Walmart I figured I would include a couple of them I also got these from Walmart they were black um, gems. I was going to go with a black and white theme for my goodie, but then I decided against it because then I went to the Dollar Tree and I found these magical adhesive dots. They literally say magical adhesive dots. I'm not sure how they're magical, but I thought I would include those because everyone can use dots. And then I also made this little slide over for this sequin holder. So I included um, from the Dollar Tree when I bought those gold sequins. It also had these fall colored sequins, which were like a brown, like a rusty orange, and then like a bright yellowy gold. And I put them in this little thingy and made this little um, slide to make it look pretty. And then the last thing I made is something that I think is so cool. I didn't decorate it because I want the person who I'm giving this to, to be able to decorate it how they want with all of the extra things that I gave them. Um, so I thought maybe they could just decorate this however they wanted inside and out. I left it very plain. I just put it together. This is not my idea. This is something that I saw on paper milkshake. She made this little book and I just thought it was so cute. I had to make one right away. The only thing that I did different is she doubled up her front paper. I didn't want to do that because mine was double sided. So what I did is I laminated the front part of this and the inside is not laminated. And I saw that on a YouTube video as well. So it gives the outside a nice sturdy cover, but then the inside is still paper. So it's not all the way laminated. And if you want to see how I did that, I, I will try to find the video that I saw that showed me how to do that, but it's actually really easy. All you have to do is put two pieces of paper, so you're making two at a time if you want to, into the laminator and then cut them right at the edge and then they come apart and one side of each sheet is laminated. So it's really simple. But anyways, I made this book and like I said, it was from Paper Milkshake, so I will try to remember to put her link down below if I don't remember send me a comment or something and I will put it there. I'll try my best to remember. But anyways, this little book I stitched, I laminated it and then I stitched gold thread around it. And then when you open it up on this side, there's pockets. So, so what she made the paper milkshake, what she made hers for was to 
um, make a shopping uh, Christmas list. She made a Christmas planner with hers, and I thought that was just so cool. I'm definitely making that first or next, but I wanted to make this, and I thought that my recipient could put fall photos in here or they could decorate it however they want, but I left it very plain purposely because I want them to be able to decorate it. So right here we have a pocket and it's stitched on there and then we have a piece of pink vellum which they can decorate however they want and then here we have just a piece my favorite piece of the collection and it is stitched around the outside and then on the inside whoops over here we have a shaker pocket with a sequin mix that I made to sort of go with the collection and this is stitched all the way around and this is just um, some acetate, no that's not acetate, what is it? Page protectors that I turned into a shaker and then made it a pocket. Not my idea again, that, that's from the idea that she made in her book. I did change mine up a little bit um, in that her vellum was attached here and she created a pocket on the side. I wanted mine to open and close to give another page. So I left mine open or didn't sew mine on, but, and then created the pocket there. And then I also included this piece of acetate, which I don't think, um, paper milkshake had in hers. So I put this acetate in there and then I have another piece of paper, just a little piece of paper, which folds it and oops, here's the center. And they're all sewn into the book in the center. And then here's the back side of that page. The back side of the acetate, which is silver, which the other side is gold. I wish it was gold on both sides, but I guess, you know, we can't have it all, right? And then here's the other pocket. And again, sequins are in there. Then the back side of that paper and the back side of the pink vellum. And then here's the back of our book and it has another pocket. So you can stuff a bunch of pictures or stuff in there. And then, um decorate the cover however she wants to. And I don't know if you can see, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the glare on there. So this part is laminated. And then on the inside, there's no lamination. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, that is my swap. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I really hope that my partner likes what I'm sharing with her. I will see you all again soon for another video. Bye-bye now.